All right, so this is how it goes in Maya. Neatness counts. When I click on this cube, I'm going to name this a cube or a crate or whatever it's supposed to be. And I'm going to use a capital letter to make sure that it doesn't have a one after it. If you use all lowercase, a one will appear. Get to know your uh, Maya workflow. What you want is a hypergraph hierarchy. You want to see that there is not a lot on this object. It's just an object. And you can see that by the blue indication of a mesh right here. Any others, you know, I would export, import in, get that mesh going. It, that'll help you out, keep your scene very clean. And what you name it here is going to be what it named in Unity. Here is your hypershade. It's located under Rendering Editor's Hypershade. And in here, what I want to do is now drag that texture from my hard drive over to it. And I do that by going in here and just click and drag TIFF out. And there's my texture. Notice my texture is called Crate 1. And this is where I was saying, this is where a capital letter. And in this case, it's a texture. Also, I need a material. So I click on Lambert and there's my material. Guess what I'm going to call this? That's right. Uh, crate Mat. Okay. So material can hold many textures. So what I'm going to do is click and drag this one by the with the middle mouse button, click and drag it, and let go and go to color. Just like that. And then in the Maya window, you see I have weight shaded mode on, which is six on the keyboard. So you might have a different view. You might have wireframe. So if you hit six, you get this. And middle mouse button, click and drag it over, and you get this. All right, now you're ready to export to Unity. But what do you export as? You can export as a Maya file, an OBJ, an FBX. What do you export as? So I'm going to tell you that it's probably ex easier to export an FBX. So export selection, and I'm going to choose FBX. And I'm going to choose it to be... Now, um, under Unity, under Project 1, I'm going to choose Assets, Standard Assets. I'm going to go to Crate, and I'm going to export it as FBX. And I notice I capitalize FBX right here, and it's also an FBX. This will help you later on if you do decide to use OBJs and Maya files. So we're getting the naming convention of using FBX right here also, and it'll help you out knowing what kind of asset you exported. Again, I'm going to use a scale factor of one and just export it. And then in Unity, I'm going to see this. Here's Crate and here's Crate FBX. Everything turned out okay because I named everything conventionally. I got the material mounted on it. And I got two different materials in here, okay? And that happens because I had an OBJ also. So uh, get rid of anything that you're not using. You can right click on it, go to Finder, and then easily delete it by going in here and right click Move to Trash, okay? So now here's my Create FBX. I can click and drag that one out, and I can scale it to the size I need it. Just like that. Incidentally, the material on this, if you look here, it's on 1024. Okay, so make sure that it's being rendered out to the fullest capability of what you have. Sometimes you'll see 512 by 512 out there, and it won't be the same. Pretty nice. All right, now go on to the next video where I kind of clean up the scene and show you some other stuff.